Story Time at Home, presented by the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. Hello, I'm Miss Caitlin. I work at the Harrison Branch Library as the senior team lead, and today I'm here to read you a story. This is a new favorite, and it has everything. Shapes, colors, prepositions. We get to talk about over, under, and beside all throughout this book. All right. This is Circle Under Berry by Carter Higgins, and he did the words and the pictures. Ooh, those are some good shapes. Do you recognize any shapes that you know? I like, I can see a heart. Ooh, a really good circle. Do you see anything else? Hmm, I wonder what these shapes are going to do. Circle under berry. Circle under berry. Look at that, there is a circle under a berry. What type of berry do you think that is? Hmm, is it a grape? No, it's probably a strawberry. And look, there's that strawberry again. But this berry isn't under something, this berry is over the square. Oh, whoa, look at all of those shapes. Let's see. This circle is over the berry, but it's under the orange. And they're both, all three, over the square. Ooh, we can talk about colors too. So here is yellow under, is that another berry? No, it doesn't have any leaves or seeds. That's just our diamond shape. Yellow is under diamond. And this diamond is over what color? Green, you got it. Uh-oh, I see something we haven't seen before. Let's find out. This yellow is over diamond, but under <gasps> guppy? Have you seen a guppy? It's like a little fish. And all of those are over green. Oh, here's an interesting one. What color would you say that diamond shape is? I think I would say it's red, but there are a lot of different ways to talk about colors, and some colors have many names. So this lion isn't under red, it's under oh, scarlet. Scarlet is another word for red. And now this scarlet is over a frog! <laughs> and now let's try it again. Lion is over scarlet, under, what shape is that? Hmm, it kind of looks like a circle that's been stretched a little bit. That's an oval. So our lion is under the oval, and all three are over ribbit. Frog! So wait, would we call this one orange for its color? Or is it oval? Which do you think? Should we call it its color or its shape? And what about this guy? Is this frog? Or maybe is it square? I can see the square shape under there. Or should we call it green? And is berry over circle? Or is circle under berry? Well, those pictures look the same, don't they? Ooh, this is a more complicated shape. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. That's called an octagon. 
octagon. This, hmm, what shape is that? It has one, two, three, four sides. And it's stretched. That makes it a rectangle. Rectangle that. Oh my goodness. Those are the same pictures only switched around. But this one, instead of calling a rectangle, we'll name a color. Instead of calling this one green, they named this one emerald. Emerald left on the left page. And here's that octagon again, but instead of calling it yellow, they use the word goldenrod. And this one is on the right. So we have emerald left and goldenrod right. Whoa, they added some more shapes to our octagon and our rectangle. And what did they come up with? Well, of course, a right side up octopus, grasshopper here, and then an upside down octopus and a grasshopper there. What could this octagon also become? Do you know of anything that's shaped like an octagon? Hmm. I feel like I see octagons when I'm driving sometimes. I wonder what it could be. Maybe you guys have some ideas. What could that rectangle be? A lot of things are shaped like rectangles, right? And what about this stack of shapes? A stack of shapes can make you think and wonder what you see. Circle next to berry. Square by bear by sweet. That one looks like candy. Blue up high, pig down low, and yellow in between. Berry next to square. Red by square by circle. And then that stack of shapes from the last spread. House above, heart below, and chicken in the center. Circle, berry, berry, square. Rose by brown by purple. And here's that stack tipped on its side. Left side square, right side pink, diamond in the middle. This one is what shape? It has one, two, three sides. That makes it a triangle. And this one is called a trapezoid. That means one side is shorter than the other. Down below is indigo and magenta up above. What type of color is indigo? Is that a shade of green? No, indigo is kind of in the middle of blue and purple. It's kind of a dark, rich color. What about magenta? Can you tell what shade magenta is? Is that a shade of blue? No, magenta is kind of a purpley pink. And you can see these shapes as they add more things to them, they become something else. So adding a few triangles all together <gasps> turned our magenta shapes into a hummingbird. What about down below? What did our indigo shapes become? Down, 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 a dragonfly. Up, 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 hummingbird. These 
pieces. Make a puzzle full of colors, shapes, and words. Do you see a frog? By pig? By circle? What about chicken over square? Guppy under hummingbird? And yellow next to bear? Circle under berry, berry over square. Circle over berry, under orange, over square. And that is the end. Thanks for reading Circle Under Berry by Carter Higgins with me. I love that book because it is so smart to say things in many, many different ways when we're talking to kids. It helps the kiddos learn all of those different expressions that we use. I use another rhyme in my story times that does the same thing. It's a counting rhyme and it allows us to slowly add, bring one more, another one comes. It allows us to say addition or adding in so many different ways. It's called One Elephant Came Out to Play and it goes like this. One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun, they called for another elephant to come. And this is the fun part. We're gonna put our hands around our mouth and we're gonna say, Oh, elephant! Do you think you can do that with me? Let's give it a try. Hand, hand, ready? Oh, elephant! Perfect! We had one elephant and your great elephant call. Let us bring one more. How many do we have now? One, two! You got it! As you go through that rhyme with your kiddos, each time you get to that oh elephant part they're going to jump in because they know you've told them something and that the proper response is to call for an elephant that's really great call and response practice for kids that turn taking conversation that you and i do every day is something kids are still learning how to do when we finish out the rhyme we have four elephants and we add one more and have five. And then the rhyme ends a little differently. Five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. The web went creak. The web went crack. And then all the elephants went curse splat. And every kid loves a good curse splat. Thank you for listening to my story and my rhyme today. I'm Miss Caitlin from the Cincinnati and Hamilton Public Library, and thanks for joining me. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library.org to find out more.